Hello, everybody. Um, some of you might have been a little surprised today that Atomy was a network marketing company. Uh, but there's nothing to worry about. Today, we will be explaining about our products. You can see that all the products here are your daily household items, such as toothpaste, toothbrushes, detergents, etc. Since you've used these kinds of products, you will probably be able to distinguish whether these are good or bad, right? You must have the right criteria, and you need to decide whether these products meet your criteria or not. Uh, then you might ask what the standard is. You might not know. Let me give you one criteria which you can use. If you go to another company, you can use this criteria to evaluate them. Let me explain. You need to distinguish whether the products here are better than the products you've used before. Or is it at least of the same quality? You need to first make this distinction. First is quality, next is price. Is the price cheaper than the products that you've used before? You can make this comparison easily, right? So if you think the products are worse in quality and in terms of price as well, that company does not pass the test. But since many people do not have such a criteria, they just flock to companies thinking that they will make a fortune. Is it then okay to make a lot of money even if it's illegal? I'm sure that there is no one like that here. You must have a principle that you will never do anything illegal even if you're not able to make any money. I'm sure none of you want to harm other people for your own benefit. All of you have principles such as these, right? There are some people who don't even have such principles. I'm sure there is no one of them amongst you here today. If you don't have such principles in your life, you should start adhering to such principles starting right now. That is the only way you'll become rich. It might seem like those who con others become rich, and they might become rich in the short term. However, real rich people are always honest and very nice. So, if you see people who are very rich, they will all say that credibility is their greatest asset. You must earn other people's trust and you must be kind. When you want to first start your business, you must first evaluate whether the company that you are wanting to join is a company in which you can be a good person. A good businessman will sell good products at an affordable price, and that person must be responsible for the products they sell until the very end. So you should not think that money is the end-all and be-all. You should have the attitude of not inflicting harm on others. You must make a decision to maintain your integrity. That's the way to make big money. Let me reiterate. The first thing you need to do is examine whether the products sold here are good or not. You must evaluate whether these products will benefit you. You must be able to make this evaluation first. What is the first thing you can do then? You can try out these products, right? Our cosmetic products in Atomy do not lose in terms of quality, even compared to the very expensive luxury products. Their prices are a lot more affordable than those products. It's only about one-fifth the price of the other products. Our company doesn't even advertise its products in magazines. The cost that would be used in advertising is instead used in developing the products and lowering their prices. We don't invest in other things other than the products themselves. We don't use money for advertisement. Instead, all of you should advertise these products by mouth. Atomy's products are good and affordable. Then the company will give commission if you can make enough sales. If you continue to introduce Atomy's products to people, the company will pay you a commission instead of spending that money in advertisement. 
This is what defines a network marketing company. Do you all have the right criteria now? If a company tells you that you need to invest $1,000 to $2,000 in the company in order for you to make money, that would be a problem, right? Because you might not make money even after investing. Here in Atomy, we do not have such conditions. We call that an entrance fee. It's a condition that you must pay up front a certain amount of money in order to receive a commission. Then there's the monthly membership fee. This is a condition that you must pay monthly fees. If you are making $10,000 a month, then there's no problem if you have to pay $100 or $300, right? It shouldn't be a problem. The problem is that you are asked to pay $100 a month when you don't even make $100 in commission every month. That can be a big burden for a lot of people. So, we don't have monthly fees in Atomy. You just have to make one purchase a year. There's no burden in that, right? There's a condition to maintain your membership, but there is no condition to maintain your rank. An Imperial Master who makes $100,000 a month or a Crown Master who makes $40,000 a month, would they use our products if they were of bad quality? Let's say you make $100,000 a month or your husband makes that much money. Would you use cosmetics of poor quality or would you use products that are worth so much more? If you make $100,000 a month, you can spend one or $2,000 on cosmetics, right? You were already spending that much money before, weren't you? If men know how much cosmetic products cost, they would faint. But most women just buy them without their husbands knowing, right? Why? Because they risk their lives for a fair complexion. A person who makes $100,000 a month will be able to spend thousands of dollars on cosmetic products. Then, do you think our Imperial Master or Crown Master would use our products if our product's quality was worse than other expensive products? No, they wouldn't. That would turn out very badly for the company. All of the high-ranking, successful people will go to other companies to get their products. I predicted that. That is why our products need to be competitive enough so that even rich people will want to use our products. If there are conditions to our membership, it's a different story, but we have no such obligations in Atomy. What then do we have to compete with? All we can do is compete with quality. That is why we got rid of all the obligatory conditions. I actually came up with Atomy's marketing plan. Do you think I didn't know that to force the members to buy our products, such obligatory conditions were necessary? Of course I knew that. But I got rid of all those obligations. For sales to happen, even without any obligations, our products need to be of really good and affordable quality. I feel like I put a knife to my own neck. I told myself that if we are not able to sell high quality products at an affordable price, then I'm dead because there are no obligations for our members. It's as if there's a knife to my neck. I put a knife there so that I would do everything in my power to decrease the price of our products while improving their quality. We have no obligations for our members in Atomy. That is why we can compete with wholesale discount stores. And we can compete in quality with luxurious malls. We call this absolute product, absolute price. This means no one can keep up with our products. We launch our products only when we are sure of this. Also, we sell our products at a price in which we are certain no one can match it, let alone beat it. That is why we call this absolute product an absolute price. Which criteria did I say you should use when making your evaluation? Are these products better than the ones that I've used before? You can make that distinction, right? Are these products cheaper than the ones I've used before? 
You need to ask if you can use these products for your whole life. If it passes your test, then you can be a consumer. What if you want to do business in Atomy? Mm, well, let's think about that. What must you do? Uh, there are people who just naturally love talking. Such people are naturally inclined to do this business. It's easy for them. I encourage those people to join the Atomy business. You probably don't even need my encouragement, but what about those who are not good at these kinds of things? I don't like telling people to buy things. I can't say uncomfortable things to people. Yeah. These types of people have nothing to worry about either. You don't have to sell anything to anyone. You don't have to sell it to other people. But there is someone that needs to be persuaded, and that someone is yourself. Up until now, you might have been sold on products from wholesale discount stores, luxury malls, internet shopping malls, and TV home shopping. Lots of people have gotten rich because of you. So from now on, don't buy from them. From now on, don't buy cosmetics products through these sources. You should buy from yourself now. Can you sell to yourself or not? Raise your hand if you can't even do that. If you're going to use these kinds of products anyway, you might as well be selling them to yourself. Products that are good in quality and are more affordable, right? The next step is to introduce these products to other people, but you shouldn't tell them to buy Atomy's products. You should tell them you've been ripped off by other people up until now. Why don't you sell to yourself from now on? I sell to myself, so I benefit. You can do that by applying for Atomy's membership. Just tell them this. I'm talking to you about the essentials of network marketing. These are the basics. All you have to do is sell to yourself. That is why this Atomy business is a very easy thing to do. Who should you sell to? To yourself. And what should you tell those next to you? You should sell to yourself. And that will continue on to other people as well. This is called a pipeline business. You have to continue to make your consumer base. The precondition is that the products must be good and affordable. That's how you should build a consumer base. That's how Atomy has built last year's total sales of $1.25 billion. That is the first method. Second, you want to recruit other contractors. It seems you can persuade consumers to use the products, but you want to recruit more contractors under you. You might have to train and raise up more contractors, and that's how you think your team will grow faster, right? If you only say you're going to sell to yourself, your business is not going to grow as fast as you want it to. That's the problem. What then should you do? It is quite difficult if you just depend on your persuasion skills to recruit more contractors. What you must do is bring them to the seminars then I, the president, will be able to give them a lecture, and they will be able to hear stories from other successful people. Then they will have a change of heart. I want to be like them as well. That's how they will start to think. In other words, you can build a consumer base by going to potential consumers and talking to them. But if you want to recruit more contractors, bring them here. It will sound a lot more convincing if successful people give them advice who are already making tens of thousands of dollars a month. Also, the president gives the lecture himself. They will think, it seems like a trustworthy company. This is how you will be able to recruit contractors. Also, if you read the Times, we are approaching an AI age. Many jobs are going to disappear. They'll be gone. You've probably heard such talk before. In order to succeed in the next age, you need to be able to read the times well. For thousands of years, there was the agricultural age, right? Back then, people worked on farms. You could not farm if you had no strength. Next, 
came the industrial age. People worked with machines then. You had to have knowledge more than strength. You needed knowledge to handle machines. The industrial age was an age of knowledge. Next came the information age. All of you have more information in the palm of your hands than in your brain, right? Yeah. All of us are living in an age where there is not much difference between the educated and the uneducated. That is why it is important to read the times. We are now at the end of the information age. What is the next age that is to come? It is the world of dreams. The dream society is coming. In the next age, whoever dreams well will be the winners of the world. What does it mean to dream well? What does it mean? A person must not just be in touch with reality. Most of the time, people focus too much on reality, and most people try to solve their problems with reality. It is actually very difficult to change one's current reality. It's impossible to change the past, right? But it's also very difficult to change the present. What you must do is you dream what kind of life it is that you want to live in the future. You must then live that future. I will make $50,000 a month. Is this your current reality or a declaration of your future? It's the latter, right? You saw all the leaders up on stage a while ago, right? You saw people making $20,000 to $40,000 a month, right? You must make that reality into yours. That is going to be my life. Tell yourself that your business is worth $50,000 a month. You verified this by seeing those who succeeded. After reviewing the principles, you decide that you should start using the products yourself, and you are certain that others will use the products as well. It is inevitable that this business will expand. You must know such principles. So first, set your goals. This is to set your dreams. Then you must evaluate whether there is a ladder that leads you to that dream. If you don't have this ladder, you can't achieve your dream. This ladder is the product and the price of the products and whether it is better than the ones you've used before. All three of these conditions must be met. Are they daily necessities? The product quality and the price. If you've determined that Atomy's products are all household necessities and the quality is good and is affordable, that means that there is a ladder that can make you $50,000 a month. All you have to do is climb that ladder. How then do you climb the ladder? You just have to tell people, I've used the products and you should too. I sell to myself and you should too. That's how you build your consumer base. How then do you recruit contractors under you? Bring them to the seminars. Plug them into the system. You must plug them into our system. Everyone repeat after me. Plug into the system. If you do that, you will be able to recruit contractors. Atomy will soon launch to China, India, and even to countries in South America as well. Atomy is still a company that has much potential for great growth. Atomy business is not merely taking Korean products and selling them abroad. It's taking the best quality products from all over the world and selling them at the lowest possible price. For example, we are taking Mexico's avocado oil product and launching it in the Korean market. This avocado oil is consumed only by the rich right now in Korea, but we plan to sell it at the price of olive oil. It used to be very expensive, but we are now lowering the price. We are bringing them in bulk in containers from Mexico. This product contains a lot of omega-3, 6, and 9. Omega-3, 6, and 9. It contains an astonishing 71%. With every other oil, you usually avoid consuming it, right? But you can actually consume avocado in many ways. You can even consume it in spoonfuls. 
That's how they consume avocado in Mexico and in other countries. Doctors recommend consumers intake the oil that way. We are taking this high-quality oil from the avocado manufacturing giant Mexico. We are bringing in this product straight from Mexico. That is how we are able to provide the consumers in Korea at a much lower price. Let's take pepper for example. The best pepper in the world is extracted from Cambodia's Kempot Beach. We are going to launch this as well. Also, with beef products. Most Koreans think Korean beef is the best, but free-raised beef is actually the best. Australia actually has a lot of free-raised cows. So, we're going to bring beef straight from Australia and supply it to you directly. This is our global sourcing, global sales strategy. We are sourcing and selling products from all over the world. We are not only selling Korean products. If there is a good product in Japan, or if there's a good product in Taiwan, we will source those products from Taiwan and sell them in Korea, or from Taiwan to Japan, or even to China. We will be able to distribute products all over the world. This is the GSGS strategy. If you want to buy the best quality products at the best price, people will have to come to Atomy. I am dreaming of a day when all Koreans will become Atomy members. I mentioned about a dream society, right? We are in the maturation phase of platform businesses. Amazon and Alibaba have sales of $500 billion. What kind of world do you think will come after these businesses? All of you should have done platform businesses by creating your own platform. If you are ahead of your time, that is. But why didn't you do that? You should do something from now on, right? What must you do then? You must be able to envision what kind of world will come after the platform business model. You need to go to the future and think about what kind of world it will become when the platform business model passes. You need to go ahead of everyone and live within your own imagination. This is what defines a dream society. It is a world of dreams. Those who are able to dream will succeed. I'm envisioning a distribution hub. Our managerial objectives are consumer success, distribution hub, and a world-class company. My dream is for Atomy to become a distribution hub. All suppliers in this world must be connected through this hub and connect all the terminals. Let me tell you how to become a hub. We have avocado oil and Kampot pepper. Platform businesses are taking products such as these and distributing them all over the world. What makes Atomy different from these platform businesses? Platform businesses have merely gathered their consumers as sand is gathered together. However, Atomy is connecting each of the consumers as if every single one of them all have magnets. Atomy distributes avocado oil. Would its members then buy avocado oil from someplace else? No, because our price is affordable and it is connected to the business of the members. It will affect their business. If you are able to connect other people and this chain continues, you can be the hub for other people. This right here can be a terminal. It becomes a turnkey based terminal and this here becomes a terminal as well. Atomy system is a system in which the hub and terminals are able to coexist. However, in today's platform business, the platform and the terminal are both separate. In order to solve this problem, all of you must become a hub. All of you must be given an opportunity to make money. Because of this reason, Atomy business will be the next big thing after platform businesses. Atomy Business will become a distribution hub. I hope you will be inspired by the model that I showed you today. You must be able to envision this in your mind. 
I hope all of you will be able to dream of the next phase. You must think that you will be in the center of the distribution hub. Yes. I will end my lecture with the hope uh, that all of you here today will be able to envision that future. Thank you for listening. That was an encouraging lecture and a great way to continue building our business in Atomy. Thank you, Chairman Park. We have now reached the end of our January online one-day seminar. As with every official Atomy event, we close by reciting our company motto one more time. When I say, are you ready? Please raise your right hand in a fist and follow along. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Cherish the spirit, create the vision, follow the faith, serve in humility. Aja, aja, aja. Thank you everyone. My name is Rani Saraswati, sales master from Melbourne, and I have been your host today. Please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have great content that will help you expand your knowledge. Please tune in next month for another episode of Atomy Oceania Online One Day Seminar. It will take place on Saturday, 27th of February, 2021 at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Thank you very much and see you then.